Have you heard of Siamese Mahjong yet? This is the two-player, two-handed version. So in other words, two players play with two hands. It's a lot of fun. It's very challenging. Some people think it's too easy, but I disagree. I'm going to do some random pulls to practice decision making. When you first get 28 tiles, it's a little overwhelming, I must say. This kind of helps alleviate that angst. If you have a set at home, give it a try. And the lesson playlist is below. You can click a link there. It'll take you right to some videos that can teach you how to play. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to say we're the dealer for these exercises, so I'm going to get 28 random tiles. Okay, we have a lot of cracks. I like to look at multiples first for American style. I think that is the strongest strategy. We have a pair of these, four, five, eight, two. I think we could maybe do a two, four, six, eight hand and maybe something with little odds or let's see, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven. There is a lot of consecutive run in here too. Maybe, maybe even a year hand we could do. How about a year hand and five, six, seven, eight, or four, five, six, seven. Let's look at that. Four, five, six, seven, five, four, year. Year with 2018 I would leave all my options open here down here four five six seven we don't need that probably don't need that four five four five six four five three four five six maybe keep the three now we have a multiple here four five six seven eight no that's the wrong suit we need eight bam i was thinking there is a five number mixed suit hand in the consecutive run category the fourth one down we could play four five six seven and then eight bams but we don't have any eight bams we do have a joker though i think i would maybe get rid of these three maybe even these are not going to help too much i'm thinking this is how I would play it. Those would go away. So what I would do is a year hand here, probably news with cracks. That would be joker bait. Those would be discarded. And then down here, either four, five, six Kong hand. That would be the fifth one down in one suit. Or we could do the consecutive run mixed suit hand the fourth one down four five six and then seven eight in kongs we need eight bams though so there's a gap with that one i would hold this just for plan b and it could also be joker bait so we have six discards some joker bait and options that's how i would play it if you would do something different let me know that's how i would do it i was thinking though we could do four five six seven eight but that would deplete the best option for the news year hand. Because here we have a gap of no eight, and here we have only singles. All right, let's do the next random pull. If you would do something different with this one, write random pull one and what you would do in the comment section under the video.
for this set of tiles, we have to focus on a pung of threes, pair of nines, pair of twos, pair of sixes. I think a three, six, nine would be good. And then maybe a two, four, six, eight for the second option. Let's just do evens on top and three, six, nine on bottom. That's pretty slim, isn't it? Let's see, three, six, three, six, nine, three, six, nine. Maybe we could play it with the dragon here or like numbers with threes. That way we can use the sixes up here. Like numbers with threes or three, six, nine. This would leave nine discards, which is not bad. Two, four, six, eight, no gaps. Either three, six, nine, which is pretty slim, or like numbers with threes. I wonder though, if maybe little odds would be better. Maybe even a pair hand. We do have a lot of odds. Look at the odds, one, three, five, seven, nine. I think little odds though is probably strongest. This is how I would do this. I would play little odds. There's a little more flexibility in here. I would even hold the seven nine because if we get five cracks, we could play the odd one suit hand, which is the first one under odds. Two, four, six, eight for sure. If I had to pick a hand, I'd probably try to play the bottom one since we have no flowers. If we get a flower, I would probably try for the first one under two, four, six, eight. So this, these can go away. This plan would use five discards with options, including joker bait. So two, four, six, eight, little odds or odds in one suit if we get that five crack. We could always use this for the five crack. Maybe even play the pair hand, the two, four, six, eight pair hand. That might even be better. I don't like dedicating my jokers this early though, but here's one, three, five, seven, nine. We'd have to throw away this. I kind of like this plan better actually, because I don't like dedicating my jokers early. Two, four, six, eight, maybe the two, four, six, eight pair hand, little odds, joker bait. If you would do something differently for this one, write random pull two and what you would do. Okay, for this one, let's look at multiples. We have west, three, four, three, four, three, four. We have all the threes and fours, and we have lots of flowers. I wonder if we could do an addition hand. I have the hardest time with that because I never get flowers. We need nine, three, eight, four, seven, five. Nine, three, nine, three, two flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, towards that addition. One suit, nine, three, 12. We could do eight, four, we have no eights. We could do seven, five, we have only one, seven. Seven, five, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we can do better. The other thing I was thinking is we could maybe do a quint. Three, 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 four. We're shy on 
a three crack or a two crack or a five crack, but I think I would try a quint right there. Then here we could maybe play the two, four, six, eight hand with flowers. That would leverage another multiple and it would leave us with six discards and joker bait. I think that's how I would play this. Quint, this would be the third one down. And then two, four, six, eight hand with flowers, the very first one. We have a gap though. The only redeeming quality here is we have a joker for the missing eight. I think as I would, I would want to have an option here. So my option, I think, might be four five consecutive. If we can get a five bam, there's a gap there too, but it's concealed, which gives you some time to work on it. Of course, you don't have to expose or call a tile, so you can just build. So I think that's what I would do here. So that's five discards, joker bait, plan B, big hand. If you would do something differently, write random pull three and what you would do. I would love to play this one out. This would be kind of fun to play out. Let me know what you thought about those random pulls. That last one would be a blast to play out. I love playing quints. I know some people shy away from them, but they're worth the risk in playing, I think. They usually get a ooh and an ah at the end, which is kind of fun. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.